over that 25 years, what sort of changes have, have, have come along that you've been able to employ with regard to heart health? Well, I think the first change has been the patients because our expectations of health now are quite different than the, what they were 25 years ago. Give me an idea. Well, for example, 25 years ago, people used to go to the doctor and we would tell them what they should have and prescribe what they should take to feel better. These days, we discuss with the patient their expectations of health, what they would like to do, and it's much more of a partnership between the doctor and the patient to work out what's best uh, for that individual. And 25 years ago, age was a huge determinant of how people were treated. For example, patients didn't get admitted to a coronary care in 1999 if they were over the age of 65 years of age because it was felt that older people didn't benefit too much. These days, age is no barrier to anything. So that's one of the biggest changes I've seen, Leighton, is just the focus on the individual and their health needs rather than any specific other parameters. Whether there are still some people who come in, I mean, you mentioned that some people come in and they, and they want to have a conversation, but others would be coming to see you still wanting you to make decisions and tell them what's going to happen. Of course, we guide people through their journey with their health, but we don't prescribe the same thing for everyone. Some people have expectations of perfect health, other people have expectations of reasonable health, some people want to take a lot of medication that makes them absolutely perfect, other people just want to take enough medication to keep them safe. So I think individualising healthcare is a very, very important thing.